The word racist is thrown around quite a lot, as we all know. And it's usually thrown around by a mainstream press as they slander and smear people with no grounds whatsoever for the accusation. So if you're a person who expresses any kind of discontent or even raises uncomfortable questions about an observably, provably, demonstrably violent religion, the press will call you a racist. If you express concern about mass uncontrolled immigration into the UK, the press will call you a racist. So when real, genuine, bona fide racism raises its head, the mainstream press doesn't, it not only doesn't report on it, but the mainstream press is behind it. And nowhere is this better demonstrated than in the appalling racist abuse of Home Secretary Priti Patel. She is being racially abused by the mainstream press and they are so thick ignorant and arrogant that they cannot see it. And as journalists go and as pig, pig ignorant and arrogant go, there's no better example to my mind than Nick Ferrari. Nick Ferrari has the distinction of being the very, very worst, the most obnoxious, sneering, unprofessional so-called journalist I have ever had the misfortune to be interviewed by and believe me that is saying something. But when he interviewed Priti Patel about her points-based immigration policy he told her very very clearly not in these words but they may as well have been these words he told her quite clearly she is not British she is an outsider because her parents come from elsewhere she must always toe a certain line on immigration. She's not just a British citizen like everyone else. She's supposed to act and speak a certain way. Because her parents came from abroad, it follows, according to Nick Ferrari, that she must support mass open border immigration. She and everyone else who has a relative or even a friend, is my guess, who came from another country. This is the case even if the numbers coming in when Priti Patel's parents came in the numbers who came in in a year at that point are coming in in a week now. That's irrelevant. Pretty Patel still has to toe the line. She still has to be the brown skinned victim. She still has to hate this society and want to transform it beyond all recognition. She is expected to be that person. She is expected to object against Britain instead of joining in with it. She is expected to feel like a victim of racism and oppression and she is expected to support every single immigrant who wants to come here from anywhere in the world. She's expected to be that person because of the colour of her skin. She is being told, you, Pretty Patel, are not a British citizen just like the rest of us. You may not speak your mind. You may not use your democratic rights to participate in our democratic process and do a very good job of it, if I may say so. She is being told she is an outsider. She will forever be an outsider. And she has no right to object to who is coming into this country or even ask questions about who is coming into this country because her skin isn't white. This, ladies and gentlemen, is racism. Actual, real racism. And it's staring us all in the face. But nobody on the left is complaining about it. The BBC aren't up in arms about it. They are the ones who are pushing this, creating this. If you're not left wing, you are the enemy of the mainstream press. And they are not, it's not beneath them in any way, shape or form to indulge in grotesque, racist abuse of Pretty Patel. And that cartoon published by The Guardian should tell you all you need to know. Disgusting, disgraceful racism coming from all all angles in the mainstream press at our Home Secretary. Just to be clear, Pretty Patel is a British person. She is a British citizen. She has every right, like every other British citizen, to object to mass migration to this country because this is her country, Nick Ferrari. This racism has got to stop and the mainstream press, toxic 
as it is, is pushing it and has been pushing it for years and years and years. It completely ignored the rape of white people. It promotes anti-white hatred. Social media does the same. It's this, it's this, it's the press, the established press, the social media. We've been saying this for years. It is they who are the real racists. And this abuse of Pretty Patel demonstrates that perfectly.